Today I'm going to show you how to solder up your new CL Racing F4S flight controller to your 4 one ESC. In this case, I'm using the Speed X30 Amp 4 one ESC. If you have any other ESC, it should be the same process. Alright, here it is. I only have the flight controller and ESC soldered together right now, just so it's a little bit easier to see, that way there's no extra wires dangling in front of the camera. When you get the Speedex ESC, the 30 amp 4 in 1, there's already an XT60 cable soldered onto it. You actually want to take that off to do this so you can actually get current sensing. And the way to get current sensing is to have your XT60 cable go into your CL Racing F4S flight controller which the pads are right on the bottom, super easy to get to. And then to power your ESC, you take two wires, one on the ESC positive and one on the ESC negative pad on the flight controller. And it can be any of these pads. I just went with the ones over the bottom left of the board, a little bit easier to bend under, under to get to the ESC. So this is the positive and this is the negative on the ESC and then just plug it right into the positive and negative on the flat controller. Super easy, super simple. To connect your signal wires from your ESC to your flat controller, you want to use one of the harnesses that, actually you want to use both the harnesses that come with the ESC and flat controller. So here's the one that comes with the Speedx 30 amp 4-in-1. It has seven pins, seven wires. This is the ground black wire then you have a VBAT, then you have your four signal wires, and then five volt on the very end. And your first thing you want to do with this is you want to depin it. You're not going to be able to use any of these wires unless you want to solder them and splice them together with the harness that comes with the flat controller. You can do that, but it's a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner to do it this other way. So what I did was I took a razor blade and popped all these wires out of the ESC pin and then I plugged in these nice silicone wires from the harness that comes with the flat controller into the pin and used a tad bit of super glue on each of them to hold them in place. And the final product of this is this. On one end you have the CL Racing connector and the other you have the ESC connector. So to connect to this, it's super simple. All you do is just take the ESC and plug it into the ESC connector. And you want to make sure that you actually have the wires in the right positions. So the top wire is going to be the ground wire. And then your other four are going to be your signal wires. The one on the bottom is motor four. And this white wire, the one on top, is motor one. And I just have it wrapped underneath of the flight controller like this and just plug right into this connector. And with this connector, you also wanna make sure the wire's in the correct positions. Starting from the bottom of the board, down here, the connector, this white wire is motor one, and this green wire is motor four. And if you don't, if you use different colored wires, you can see right here on the board, it's really hard to see actually, there's numbers one, two, three, and four. Those are your motors. And that's really all you need to do. It's super simple, super clean. I use 20 gauge wire for my ESC pads and the flat controller down to the ESC. Then I used 16 gauge wire for my XT60 cable. And the reason I did it all like this was that I, I want current sensing when I race and when I fly. And you don't get current sensing, you power your ESC first and then go to your flat controller. I know that there is um, an external current sensor on the new CL Racing F4S board, but when I contacted CL Racing and I posted in some other FPV groups about this, they said the best way to do this was to power your flat controller off your battery and then power your ESC off the flat controller. Soldering your motors to the ESC was super simple. I just had to go on the outside to the pads. It's really clean. They're they're really easy to get to, so if you ever need to put a new motor on there, if you crash and you fix something, it all pops right off. And these pins, the harnesses, unplug it, and then you can fold the flat controller back to get underneath of it for anything, which you shouldn't need to because there's nothing on here other than a buzzer. 
And then if you need to get work on the ESC, it's super easy to get to. A few things I wanted to mention is for the harness, you don't need this yellow wire. This is the center wire. I don't actually know what it's used for. When I contacted some other people, NCL Racing, they said I don't need it for this build. So you don't, you don't need to use it for anything. Take it out, save it for your camera, VTX, whatever you want it for. Another thing is wiring your ESC from the bottom down up to your flat controller. Make sure your positive and negative are on for the same motor. In this case, I'm using the ESC pads for motor three. If you use positive on motor three and ground on motor one, you will probably have some issues. You might go with it for a while, but oh, you might have to let me know if you try that out. But just to be safe, I did on the same motor and it made it a little bit easier to get down to the pads underneath the flight controller on the ESC. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button or subscribe. I'll leave everything in the description so you can go check out where you can buy this stuff and where you can contact people if you have any questions. If you have anything to say about this, leave a comment. I'd like to see what you have to say. If you think I need to do anything different or if you did it a different way.